YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? If you're new here, consider tapping that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today we are trying out a new unit from Bobby Boss. I haven't tried Bobby Boss in a hot minute, y'all. Probably not since 2020. But when I saw this unit, on Wheezy Wig Reviews, I was like, yo, I gotta get her. I have Bobby Boss Natalia, and I have Natalia in the 1B color. This is Bobby Boss's Glueless HD Lace line. And I've tried other units from this line. I've tried Bobby Boss Jacintha, Bobby Boss Kava, and Bobby Boss Camille. I actually really enjoyed all three of those units. However, at the time, I wasn't really familiar with tint spray for two of them. Like I remember with Kava, I was struggling to tint the lace. I had a really hard time with the blending of this unit. I would have been there all night trying to blend this thing. I was literally dabbing for my life. It was just a dab, dab, dab. I was so over it. I mean, eventually it changed colors, but I was using elbow grease, you know what I mean? But since then, I've gotten familiar with tint spray and now the process is easier for me. One thing I will say, is out of all the HD laces that have come out on the synthetic wig market that I've tried, the Bobby Boss HD lace, I think it's the best HD lace. Because with Kava, or Kiva, when I put that joint on, I was like, yo, I, I literally was like, where is the lace? I'm happy that they came out with some new styles because honestly, I low-key forgot about Bobby Boss for a hot minute. But you know, they're OGs in the game. And I like to see the new things that they come out with because you know, I like when these wig companies have a little friendly competition. So we're gonna see what Natalia is coming with today. I have Natalia here in the 1B color and straight out the pack, y'all. This style looks gorgeous, okay? If you're going back into the office, like I have to go back in the classroom, this is definitely gonna be the style for you. I can already tell. It does come with your two combs here in the front, a comb in the back, and adjustable straps, as well as this elastic band. I am gonna do a talk through with this wig today. And let me know if you like when I like talk as I style, you know, like a talk through tutorial. I know sometimes I'll like do the styling while music is playing, which I enjoy too, and I focus more so on like reviewing and giving you tips on styling. But let me know how you feel about the talking tutorial. I'm doing it for this one because I haven't done a Bobby Boss in a minute and I'm really excited to see how this looks, especially with the natural sunlight on me. My girl Brittany, aka The Hard To Kick 90, she always does a bomb sunlight test and I wanna know if this is gonna pass the test. So let's just throw her on. This is how, <laughs> yo, let me back up, let me back up, what, Bobby Boss, is this what we're doing right now? Is this what we're doing? These flips and these curls, yes. Now I am experiencing a little bit of shedding because I did cut really close to the hairline when I cut the lace. And I cut in a jagged motion. I know I don't usually show that part, but definitely look on YouTube if you wanna see how people cut the lace. This style is looking really, really cute. And time out, shout outs to my eyeliner today. I, I tried a new eyeliner, y'all. This eyeliner is by Lady Gaga from the House Laboratories and I tried it, got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's super creamy and pigmented. I love the formula that they use for this. I haven't been like out with it for like a full day or night out because honestly I haven't been going out lately, but next time I do actually go out and spend like five, six hours out, I will update y'all because mm, I'm just loving the way this eyeliner looks and feels. It doesn't like drag across your eyelid. I'm really feeling this. so. Definitely check out the link that I have in the description box if you need a new eyeliner. All right, y'all. Let's tackle this lace, okay? This is what we got going on here, okay? It's it's a khaki color. So here's something that you need to know about, you know, frontals and making them look natural. I know I talked about this in my $20 Tuesday video. Having a flat foundation is key. But another thing that is key when it comes to frontals is the lace, the type of lace that you have. If you are familiar with human hair wigs, people talk a lot of game about Swiss lace and that is supposed to be the best lace because of the thinness of the lace. Synthetic wigs are trying to emulate that same type of thin Swiss lace, HD lace, and it's supposed to melt easily into any skin tone once you tint it. So, here 
here's what I like to do. I like to first go in with my Ebon Tint Spray and I have it in the darkest shade that they have available, the darkest brown color. I've tried the cooler brown color. It was, I don't know, I feel like it still was just, okay, I felt like this color is a little bit better, but we'll see because like, Summertime, I get a tan and my skin sometimes gets darker and sometimes that affects how these tint sprays work for me. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna spray here, spray all along here. And now you see here before tint spray, and after tint spray. It's a big difference, right? That's why we use tint spray because we want this to match our skin. We want it to melt as much as possible. I will have a link for this tint spray down below. You can shop through my Amazon links. And shout out to all of you that be shopping through my links. I sincerely appreciate it. When you shop through my links, it supports us at your hair and your girl will keep these videos coming for you. It really means a lot to me, so thank you. So I wanna attempt to put this on glueless because that's what the claims say on this little stock card, okay? It says the 13 by 7 hand tied glueless wig, frontal wig with flawless free parting, baby hairs, elastic band. It's supposed to have the works. Like this is supposed to be the whole shebang. Then it says Medi Fresh Safe and Clean Cap. Bobby Bosch, I'll be saying anything. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put on this elastic band. Okay, and I like that this elastic band here is adjustable. Thank you, Bobby Boss. I appreciate that. Because I know with certain wigs when the elastic band is just one size. For people with larger heads, the elastic band can be very bothersome. So the fact that this is adjustable is really good. So we're gonna try to do this glueless, y'all. Okay, let's see what it's looking like right now. And I did notice when I put this on before that this was definitely coming on me ear to ear. You see? It's coming on me ear to ear at 13 by seven, so that's good. I think this would be considered like mm, medium to big head friendly. My boss isn't really known for like having big head friendly wigs, but I think if you have a larger head, you can make this work. Okay, y'all. This is what we're working with so far with me just using the tint spray. Y'all see that? We're in natural sunlight. I didn't really get this corner here, but right here in the front, hold on. Right here in the front actually looks pretty good. This is me not melting anything. I got the baby hairs that are trying to tuck underneath there. Okay. So since I am trying to wear this unit glueless, the extra step I like to take is I like to go in with this. This is my CoverGirl matte foundation in the color D90. The True Blend Matte Series has a good range of foundation colors. So this color I think works well for like making sure I can blend my frontals. And again, I'm not using any sprays or adhesive. I'm really, I really wanna try to make this a glueless install, y'all. So let's see if I can make this work. But the way this HD lace is looking, I think we can pull it off. Let me know what y'all think in the comments as y'all watch this. Now here you'll see me basically just using this right along here. Oh my God, please focus. Camera, stop playing with me. You see how like me applying that is just kind of adding that extra oomph to make this lace blend? Are y'all seeing that? Are y'all seeing the lace disappear? Let me know. I don't got my glasses on, so I cannot really see what's going on in full. Like I would need to put on my glasses, but this is what I'm doing here. I'm using liquid foundation because liquid foundation definitely will penetrate the lace. You're not gonna ever see me using a powder foundation when I'm trying to blend my frontal. Okay, so let's see if I can make this work. I hope so. This is me trying to do something glueless, y'all. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know. I haven't laid a frontal in months, so your girl might be rusty. <laughs> Y'all, this lace is actually pretty damn good, especially for a synthetic wig. Like, look at that. Look at that. Y'all, let, let me stay still so I can get a screenshot. <laughs> this is your reminder, y'all, to get the tint spray and the foundation. It makes a huge difference. For this to be synthetic HD lace, y'all, this lace is sick. <laughs> Ooh, how long y'all been wearing some 
synthetic wigs because I don't think y'all understand how long of a way synthetic wigs have come, okay? This right here was not around uh, two, three years ago. I keep getting the years mixed up because 2020 like ceases to exist. And y'all know I got my new camera this year, so this camera's gonna show everything. Okay, like look at that. Now, here's another thing I like to do. I like to tilt my head up to see if there's any cast. And I don't got my glasses on, so I can't tell. I see a little bit of a cast. Now, here's something I like to do. I like to sometimes just take my eyebrow pencil and like depending on where the cast is, I will go, oh my God, please focus. I will go like this. In a way, it's kind of like, you might say I'm coloring in the lace, but I just go like this a little bit because sometimes that minimizes the cast. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that's just something that I like to do. But honestly, as great as I think this HD lace is, I'm not completely comfortable wearing it glueless. Here's the thing you need to know if you want to wear your wigs glueless, there are two things that really matter. The lace matters and the fit of the wig. That's why people spend so much money on custom units because they are custom made to fit on your head. That means that they can lay flat seamlessly and be worn glueless on your head. That's what people are paying for, the fit as well. So I think this fit is pretty decent, but there's still like some flapping right here. I'm not comfortable with that for a glueless install. So if I were going out somewhere, I would still use my normal adhesive. I started using my Ebon Wonder Bond spray this year, but that joint is downstairs somewhere. So I'm gonna come back with my <laughs> tried and true bedhead spray. And I'm just gonna like let some music play, adhere it with this spray. I'm also gonna use a little bit of the Got To Be glue and we'll see like the final result with me using adhesive. Okay, so y'all see what it looks like glueless on me. But for my own comfort, I'm going to go on with adhesive. I should have known better. Can't even pretend like I don't want it again. On a brain, on a tie. Thinking about the things that we did. You did something. The shit like it don't happen too often. It's the way you put it down. I don't want no one else around. Okay, y'all, so I just took off this elastic band and I'll link it in the description box to be my Amazon store. I also have a version that has Velcro on it. I just don't have it on me right now, but these are great for melting the lace. So let's see what it's looking like. Let me know what y'all think. I got a line on my forehead from that thing. I was wearing it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's a little crusty right here, but we can fix that. Okay. Now up here where my, my widow's peak is, for some reason that, that that did not adhere and that's okay because your girl likes to take this got to be glue in the black bottle because I like the clear one to do this and I will apply just a tad. I'll use my rat tail comb and I'll slide underneath there and apply the gel, okay? And then I'll just like press it down. I'll press it down like that. Actually, I'm gonna cut some of this off because I don't think it's necessary to have that right there. I think that it'll look better. Yes, that's looking much better. We cut that little piece off. We didn't need it. I do still like to go in with the got to be glue, press down on certain areas. That's because it gets extra melted that way, in my opinion. Now. I know some of you are very big on baby hairs. I am not. So you're not gonna see me doing baby hairs today, but you know who really likes doing baby hairs? Body by Kira. I like the way she does hers. So definitely check her out if you're on the baby hair train. This is looking a little bit cru crusty, so I'm just like trying to like just fill this in, honestly. I'm not trying to make it a big deal. Just fill it in a little bit. It is okay. And you can also use an alcohol wipe to wipe away the crustiness as well. How is this hairline looking, y'all? First of all, this wig is actually pre-plucked pretty nicely. I didn't pre-pluck this, y'all. 
Oh, this is a little crusty too. Yo! Oh my goodness. If this video is helping you all, please let me know in the comments down below because I want everybody to slay their frontals this holiday season, okay? I know I've been wearing headband wigs for the past three months and I still wear them on a daily basis to work because that's easier for me. But whenever I decide to go back out again, I would wear something like this. This is this is looking really seamless, Bobby Boss. I am impressed. Overall, y'all, here are my thoughts on Miss Natalia. She's bomb. Go get her. The style alone, oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous style. And you have a 13 by 7 parting space, so you are welcome to use all this space to your liking. You could flip her over, which is what I think will be my preferred style. Like, you see that? All I did was just finger comb a little bit and you got something different going on. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, especially in this natural color. I wanna see all my wig bays rocking Miss Natalia when they go back in the office this fall because she is stunning. <laughs> I love that she's short too. We know long synthetic wigs, you know, their track record is not good over time. But considering this is shorter, she's gonna last you a lot longer. She falls right at the shoulder, so you'll notice over time that the ends are gonna get a little bit, you know, raggedy. But if you're like me, you use your Simply Styling silicone spray, spritz it on here just a little bit, and comb through it and you'll be good to go. I love using this silicone spray, y'all. It's linked down below. It definitely maintains and revitalizes my synthetic wigs. It's, it's a must have in my arsenal. I feel so glam in this unit! Who's on the website? Who's about to buy Miss Natalia? Like, come on. Wheezy, thank you so much for reviewing this because when I saw it in the color, I'm gonna link Wheezy's video down below. She rocked this beautiful fall color for this unit. I almost got it, but I was like, let me just do one B first. And I would absolutely get another color. Oh, oh my God, this this looks great. The texture of this unit is, is like a light yakky texture. It's not super silky. And I just love, especially with lighter yakky and or silky textures, when you have flips and curls like this, it just gives it more body. I don't like when a company will put out a unit that it's like somewhat of a curl, but it just falls limp. Like, no, this right here is giving the girls body. Oh, I will spill off my chair. <laughs> now let's just do a quick recap on what we need to remember when it comes to laying our frontals, right? First of all, foundation is key. Make sure your braids or however you do your hair underneath your wigs is on flat, flat. Next, examine the lace. If you have a unit that says HD lace, it's supposed to be a lace that's supposed to melt easier into your skin tone. I think this is definitely a quality HD lace for a synthetic wig, for sure. Bobby Boss hit the nail on the head with this one. Third thing, when it's time to tint your lace, make sure you're using some type of tint spray or a foundation or something that you know is going to match your skin tone. I like using the tint spray and the foundation method together and that works pretty well for me, especially for glueless. Now, I already told y'all that I wasn't fully comfortable wearing this glueless because the ear tabs kept popping up for me, but if it wasn't for that, I would have just gone glueless with this unit. Fourth tip, when you're wearing a frontal like this, it's best to wear a black wig cap brown wig cap because the nude ones will show through and you don't want that to show through so just wear a darker wig cap i didn't even put any powder in the parting space right now i mean i can but i'm just so busy marveling over this unit natalia she's a winner she's definitely going on the faves list now if you're new to my channel go ahead and tap that subscribe button hit the notification bell you made this far i want you to see some more of my videos just like this and on this channel we not only do wig reviews we also do try on hauls and vlogs so i hope you stick around for that content that you'll find in my description box. If you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!